Hey guys, it's Ross, and I've got a really uh, interesting package here. It was sent to me by the Caprone family, and I think they're in uh, Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check here. Yeah, in Michigan. And um, Diana, the mother of the Caprone family, sent me a message, and she said that she found these grapes. And I think you can get them at Sam's Club and maybe some other wholesale places like Costco I'm not sure but uh, she said these grapes these cotton candy grapes are the best grapes that she's ever had and her family loves them so much that this is all they buy is these grapes and um, you know they came in packaged very nicely there's absolutely no damage on these I was very surprised and I tried one to get a uh, idea of what these things taste like for the video and I have to say that they are incredibly good absolutely incredible um, I'm so happy that Diana went through all the trouble to send me these grapes um, I'm eating one right now and they really do taste like cotton candy um, when Diana sent me the information on these grapes. I did some research. You can't actually grow these yourself. Um, the plants are under patent and they don't really want people like me growing them and propagating them. They're very proprietary with this grape, very protective over it. And I think only certain orchards can even grow the grape. Um, and that's that's it. And I, I think over time they're gonna let the grape um, expand into other people's hands over time. But uh, for now, you can't actually grow this grape. The only way you get it is by buying it at the store. And this really is pro it probably is the best grape I've ever had, hands down. Um, they're so so good. So Diana and the. Caprone family, I am hope I'm saying your last name right. Thank you guys so much. Um, oh my goodness, they're so good. They really are. My dad ate some as well. Um, he, has a, <laughs> he gets a nice little bonus of everything I grow and what people send me. And he said that they were the best grapes he's ever had. He couldn't, he couldn't believe it. Um, and my dad is so obsessed with you know healthy things that he only eats red grapes because they have uh, resveratrol in them but these were <laughs> these were I told him these were gonna be amazing he tried them he couldn't believe how good they were I still can't believe it myself um there is however guys for those of you who don't know um there are fruits like pluots that they've been they have been uh, breeding and these pluots also have a cotton candy. Some of them have like a cotton candy type bubble gum taste to them. There's quite a few like plums and just different weird stone fruits that have that flavor now. So Diana, if you really like this flavor, you may be able to grow some pluots in Michigan that uh, can resemble this flavor but in a, in a different fruit. I think what I'm gonna do because my family's gonna eat these really quickly. I think we're going to dry some. And I've dried grapes before, whether they're my own or whether they're store-bought. Um, just always put things in the dehydrator, see what happens, and we'll make raisins out of these and see what, what comes up. And I'll probably post about the raisins when they're complete, um, probably on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. So you guys just know, you know what happened but I cannot believe how good these are. Really, these are incredible grapes. So, um, here's the brand here. The Grapery, I guess. Product of USA. Third generation grape grower is this guy here. They really do taste like cotton candy. It really is, it's true. I don't know how much of this flavor you would get if you if we did end up getting vines of this because you can't you can't grow them from seed you'd have to get a cutting 
and root the cutting or graft the cutting onto a rootstock. You know, but even if I were to be able to grow these here and it wasn't proprietary, if I can grow them in Pennsylvania, they may not have the same flavor because California is just the great capital of the United States. They have so much sunlight, such dry weather that uh, they probably get some increased flavors that I wouldn't get here. But you never know. I may be able to get the cotton candy flavor here as well. Maybe not of this size and this large of bunches, but uh, really beautiful, tasty grapes. So thank you again, Diana and the Caprone family. Um, it's always nice to receive packages like this in the mail from people. It's just, it's so cool. So thank you guys and uh, thank you everyone for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Take care.